Hey there, everybody. Fett here, and welcome back to Fett Plays Rim World of Magic Royalty on Point One. Got a moonlit ritual going on in Fort Treewick. In Point Six of Days, we'll know what that means. Because uh, we're just exploring it right now. Still working on my meditation room. That's all right. We got a magical focal point over here. Which seems very interesting. Especially the fact that you can conjure a skeleton with a single human-like corpse. I like how it says human-like. Did it come out suspended? Which means you could use alien corpses as well. Oh, oh, oh. It suspended itself. It unsuspended itself. We can't tell if we're actually doing it or not. Maybe we... Oh, we're going to do it. You know we got to test that out. Alice is fully healed. We only need to hold her for 22 more hours. We'll be good to go. So, you know, hopefully she learned her lesson and uh, she won't sleep with royalty or at least she'll do a better job of pretending to... Oh my god! You got experience for that. So that's good. He's also sick. Oh, he's got arcane weakness. I see. He's also rebuffed by Volpe. Settle down, dude. Cool! It counts as an animal. Oh, I kind of love that. Huh. So, uh... So, yeah. I don't know if it counts as an animal, but it acts like an animal. Uh... I guess... Nope. Everyone's skill's too low. So, I guess it just re it automatically attacks our enemies, from what I understand. I mean, it's really cool that it exists. I can't deny this. I kind of want to tick off an animal to see what it does. Like, let's see if we can make a Mega Sloth mad. How long does it last? Did this say anywhere? For five days until dis or until destroyed. Huh. It also makes noise. <laughs> it definitely make a noise. It is a noisy lad. Good to know. Dude, I love this magical cooler. Okay, Mega Sloth Revenge. There we go. That's what I wanted. Uh, Dimis, get away. Is the skeleton attacking it now? If it is, it's not doing very well. Come on, skeleton! And you need to go attack! Help us out! Dude, help! In the name of the law! Just gonna see if we can dra if we can get it to come over to us. There you go. It saw it saw Dismas. It's like, ooh, I want to eat that. Nope, nope. Oh no, no, no! Run toward it. Oh no! He's no longer out to Dismas. Shoot it! It's too far away. Saya's inspired recruitment. That's cool, but we don't have anyone we want to recruit right now. Ah, crap. Okay. So apparently we need to tell it to go outside of the perimeter. In order for it to actually work. So, uh... Yeah, I guess we... Hmm. Guess we make a new area. And you know what we gotta call it. We call it, call it the Bone Zone. And then we make an area for the Bone Zone. Not a roof area. Bone Zone area. And, uh, this is the bone zone area. This is where the zone goes to- wait. <laughs> this is where the bone goes to zone. He's like, alright, I'm heading to the bone zone. I'll see you guys later. Frank, what is up with you, dude? Ravenously hungry, rebuffed by Volpe. But one of those you can solve right away. Alright, there he is. He's zoning in the bone. 
Wait. Nah, close enough. Alright, so that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I like it. I like it a bit. And all it takes is a couple of dead people. Speaking of a couple of dead people, Blood Rot's doing alright. She'll be fine. Yeah. She's not in the greatest of moods, but she only has to last 12 more hours. Yeah, the rest of the stuff does take some magicite. Which is fine. Yeah, it is what it is. And theoretically, that's all that it is. We're also researching portals next, although now I kind of wish I had researched the regular... Oh, Moonlit Ritual. We received news that, that an investigator followed the individual into the woods. They reported back seeing a group perform a series of almost ritualistic carnal acts. Not caring to stick around for it, he returned. A romp in the woods. Investigate further. What are you romping about? Tell me your secrets. I know there's more to it than that. Alright. Zenus is ready to develop a new combat skillus. But right now we need to... What is it? Lethality level 2? Yep. Now he's more likely to pommel strike someone to non-death. Alright. I just realized we have 4,000 silver. Let's upgrade Fort Rewick again. Hells yeah, dude! Get a return on that investment right quick, we will. Alright, this room's coming together. Slowly but surely. Uh, looks like we're gonna need some... Razors a little bit closer to the throne. So what we'll probably do is just have one here and here. There you go. That way it's lit all the way around. Bam. Look at all these good... Thoughts. We don't have a negative thought in my head. Not right now, at least. Now, whether that makes me uh, privileged or nice or just an idiot is very much up to interpretation. <laughs> because you can over-interpret anything in this day and age. Hello, Tiny Griffin. How you doing? Little Miss Nine Days Old over here. Having a good time. Speaking of, uh, where's our other... Where's Zelda? Because Zelda is supposed to be making us a new hero. Okay. Late stage. So soon. Soon. Nat the Warlock. Hmm. Willpower. Increases the force of repulsion by 20%. Amount of force applied. Okay. Uh, applies damage based on the amount of force acting upon them. The damage is only applied to enemies. I like that. I like that a lot. Dude, how did you get two points? You know what? Never mind. That, I'm just happy you did. Dimus! Did I accidentally leave you on? Oh, I might have. In fact, I probably did. More Magicite in the house? That is something I like and appreciate. What is that noise? What in the heck was that sound I just heard? I, what was that? I mean, more Chibi Muffs, which is nice. What in the world did I hear a minute ago? I'm not the only one who heard that, right? What the... Oh, good. The shuttle's arrived to pick up, pick up Alice. Okay. Alice! Alice, it's time to go! Auto load, please. Items to load. One Alice. If someone will do me this favor. Please. Look, I know we're having fun doing literally everything else, but... Come on, guys. You need to deliver. Alright, Alice. Time to go. Uh, Vasilla. You're nice and quick. And you're missing right now, so who cares? Uh, can you carry Alice to the shuttle, please? Talking to Volpe about making jackets. Gonna go carry a prisoner. All right. Just uh, watch who you sleep with from now on. You know. Make sure that they uh won't have political repercussions. Not it's that it's their not that it's your fault that they do, but you know, it's not gonna stop them from making you a prisoner for some reason. 
Hungry Prisoner is done. A new Neuroformer is on its way. And um, I am now an Esquire. Cannot be inherited. Well, that's too bad. Uh, requires a apparel appropriate to his title. Some kind of nice shirt. Ooh, I can wear a dark robe. Uh, nice hat. Some kind of prestige armor or Psycaster apparel. Gotcha. Gotta have a good room. Both bed and throne. I can now call in mercenaries. And I'm allowed to use uh, Silinx. Cool. There it is. Uh, yo, go put this in my brain. No, I want it. Okay. A mana surge! Ooh, that's spicy. Okay, first of all, let's look at my rooms. My throne room is undignified. Oh, God. Uh, but I don't seem to have... I recently got the Esquire title. I love recognition. Please. It's a very impressive throne room. But it's not finished yet, because it needs to have the flooring done. Now, I'm guessing this clothing is good enough, because, yeah, the Altex is considered psychic stuff. A large vein of iron. Nicely done. Bulpy. More magic skill. Are you just gaining magic skill faster because you, uh... No. Okay. Just checking. Uh, let's see... That's why you're getting magic skill faster. Prodigy, let's move down here. Uh, Sharkwalker, you move down here too. There's a mana surge going right on right now. Nat, you move down here too. We gotta, we gotta spend some mana. You know, time to learn. Okay. Uh, I don't want you to do I? Hey, you know, fireball the skeleton. It's called target practice. Even when it misses. And then you could, we could also have you guys just blink around, too. That's right! Um, Sharkwalker can blink now, too. Sorry. Uh, sorry, Nat. I know you can't blink. But you can Shadow Bolt. Neat. Yeah, he totally counts as an animal. Cool. Cool. All right. Yeah, we're going to keep casting. Don't think we won't. Yo, repulse it. Whoosh! It... I'm sorry, did it... Did it bloop out? What happened there? Oh, he pooped. He left Arcalium? A metal alloy consisting of steel, jade, silver, and magicite. To need composition gives it mystical properties that increase it. Elasticity and creates reverberations of any magical energy transferred through it. Oh. Each kilogram of Arkelium worn increases the chance and ability cooldown is nullified after use by 1%. Wow. Okay. 400% extra hit points on whatever you make this make out of this. 200% extra beauty? Holy crap, dude. I didn't expect to find the holy freaking grail of magical material. But apparently that's what we got out of it. Why are we walking like peasants when we can just blink? There we go. And then we just blasted rocks all day. This is a high tier training. Please get out of the way. And let us do our work. Nat needs time to recharge. Well, that's gross. Wait, how did you get hurt, Manticore? Oh, the, the, uh, you didn't. You just had the asthma. Which also sucks, but... You know, it's not the same thing. Stat freeze. I love the fact that it actually creates ice. Oh, you're out of mana. Uh, let's fix that. Let's give him more focus. He needs to gain mana more quickly. No wonder you're having trouble, dude. Look, Volpy brought the ice. Sharkwalker brought the fire. That's just how it works. Speaking of the fire, extinguish it. And then give me more fire. Yeah! Pepsi's 22 years old today. It's also the first day of fall. It's pretty great. Hey, give me another one. Give me another one. Give me another one. There it is. Bam. Okay. 
All right, go home. Uh, Volpe, you need to go recharge as well. Shark Walker, you still have some mana left. But yeah, we're gonna make Fire Claw even cheaper. Why wouldn't I? Okay, go home. You got another, another level of experience after doing that too. I'm not gonna increase the power of Fire Claw. I don't think that's worth doing yet. But let's give him more mana. Oh, that was fun. That was fun on a bun. I loved every millisecond of it. All right, well, see, now we're getting some nice quests. I like these. We actually did the last three quests that were given to us. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm liking it. I'm wanting some more of it. It's beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. So you need to work on this throne room. I have a permanent kind of bad mood until it's all said and done. Yo, excuse me, I gotta go press some olives now. I mean, I am an Esquire. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Uh, did I learn a new skill or not? I got a... Wait, no, no, no. I got something else, didn't I? There's a brave guy from the Exodus Empire coming by. Nah, I've missed something. I think that was a different kind of Psy item. And I goofed up. What else is new, though? What else be new, yo? Don't at me, you animal. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, let's that, upgrade my Psy link. Oh, do we try taking on a rare Thrombo or two? Do we dare? Yay! Still need to learn new Psylink's abilities, but I can learn more now. And it does increase my both my neural limit and the heat recovery rate. Okay. I feel like if we could manage to make only one of them mad, we could take them out. Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. The investigator reports back that the group has returned again. It's also tax time and party time. Activities as the night prior. However, after not leaving, he observed that the group brought out an ornate chest filled with religious-looking symbols. He stepped closer for a better look. After ste stepping on a dead leaf, the group heard him. He fled before they could find him. I mean, I do want to see what it is. I mean, it might be some kind of cult, but I'd rather just, you know, get to know them. See how they're doing. See what life's like over there. I'd also like to have one of those, hey, everything's half price for uh, new colonies now. Conquest. The Stoneface Union has lost Orange Boulder to the Red Mole logo. Oh, no, no. That's unfortunate. I mean, I'm really tempted to try. I'm gonna regret... I'm gonna regret this. And I just ended the party. Sorry, uh... I think it was Pepsi's birthday? Yeah, sorry, Pepsi. But look at the right side. We get to celebrate by trying to kill a giant, gentle creature. And really, isn't that what life's all about? Start with a firebolt. What's its fire resist? It's actually the lowest resist it has. Okay, thankfully it only angered the one. So that part was successful. Okay, all of the shoot juice has begun. Yo, snap freeze it. Did that actually give it hypothermia? It did! I, mean, I guess I don't know why I would expect otherwise. Uh, now, repulse it to move it away from here. Oh, ho, 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 it worked! I never realized that Nat has, cat has uh, cataracts in both of his eyes. I didn't know that actually worked. Shadow bolt it. Oh, it's down. All right, good job. Ray Ray, finish it. I mean, that was a little excessive at that point, dude. Uh, who's starving? Ray Ray's starving. Okay, Ray Ray, go eat after you do this. Uh, loop. Okay, go eat. Go get yourself a meal. Everyone else, uh, gather over here. Uh, Shark Walker, can we start with you again? Any chance you could fireball one of these? Wingus McBingus. It's just freaking out! Doesn't even know how to fight back.
And it's dead. It's just all, like, literally already dead. I mean, we are getting some good stuff out of this. Thrombos are worth a lot. On the, you know, stock market of evil bastards that we apparently like to act like sometimes. Alright. Okay, it's making a beeline. Let's go, go, go. Oh, diggity. Oh, diggity. Okay, we're back. The guns are the guns are out. Oh no! Augusta! That was not on purpose. Oh no. Permanent gunshot injury to the brain. Oh god. Oh no. What have we done? Uh Volpe. We're gonna we're gonna need your heels. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, stick with Prodigy. Keep getting that better experience and the better... I think it's a better cost with that, right? Yeah, it's down to 11.8. Yeah, better cost. Cool. 9% less. What's not the love? Augusta is now in... Perfect health. <laughs> oh, that's... That's sad. Thinking after, uh, after the birth, Augusta might, uh, have to Augusta. Which was a horrifying joke, I understand. <laughs> but hey! We, uh, wiped out three thrombos. What's not the love, right? Someone gonna butcher these thrombos? Someone with really good cooking skill, I hope? Like Creo? Yeah! That's not a thrombo. Try again. That's a thrombo. What do we get? Uh, let's see. 360 thrombo meat, 120 fur, and that horn. Alright, good stuff. Armor Smith from the Heminista Pact. Oh, neat. So, theoretically, they will have great armor. And also a repeater crossbow. And a sawed off shoddy. Nice. Alright. Well, when are those taxes arriving? 0.8 days? That's going to be too long. Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. And in theory, that's all that it is. Anyway, thank you, based Randy Random, for sending me some thrombos that we could easily whoop. We sh probably shouldn't be hunting at this point, but. Well, we are. Alright, wake up, me. Come on, I'm Captain Social around here. I need to do this. Hello, I am the Esquire of this fine village. How are you today? Excuse me while I call royal aid on your face. I mean, they do have armor. They are fitting of that name. They have tabards, they have shields. They have more tabards. They will buy our armor. They have bicockets. They have, ooh, Bronze Lorica Musculata. That covers the middle layer. All right. Good heavy steel plate armor. You know, I'll buy that good stuff. I'll, I'll buy that good stuff. You know, give me that triple disc armor too. It'll make me feel swooed on the inside. And really, isn't that what life's all about? Steel Ancient Mail. Hmm. Uh, Energy regen. Ener yeah. Uh, I can't afford that. Even if I sold everything else I got, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to afford that. Which is unfortunate. We really don't need shields in this day and age. Sell the poor armor and clothing. Uh, and then we're out of money. Wonderful. <laughs> I don't remember when we became poor as hell, but it was somewhere in there. Sorry, right, we could sell at least some of these buffalo wool tabards. We have a good amount of materials to make more clothing. So honestly, let's give our tailor something to do and make more clothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like this. I like this a lot. Yeah. Sell all the clothing we have. And then buy one piece from them. 
guess take the triple disc armor too. Why not? There you go. All right, you got two fine pieces of armor. Well, theoretically. I assume this is good. Arcane Spectre? Hmm. So, Pepsi's birthday party is being held now. I don't know. Shark Walker. Come over here, wear this. Diana has given birth. Looking good, dude. At least I think you are. I can't see under the tabard. There we go. Uh, the very infection with the attack power of six, so I can't wait to lose that immediately. Yeah, it looks kind of weird, but I like it. And those bonuses are nothing to sneeze at. Let's see, mana cost is at 102%. Okay. Maximum mana is 114. Magic bonus. Arcane resistance is a little lower. Arcane Spectre, I assume, is doing some of that, but I don't know what that is. Oh, adds bonus spirit damage to any attack. Well, there you go. Well, there you go. I mean, we do match it in military level, but that doesn't mean anything, as we've seen. So I guess we'll fight, figure out how that works for or against us a little bit later. Thankfully, uh, taxes are were charged and will be arriving before then, so we'll have a nice 1800 in case we lose a building, or inevitably when we lose at a, a settlement level. Uh, Nat has a deeper understanding of magic. I like it. You know what? Give me all the violent dispersion. And then... Is he just gaining two levels at a time or something? Or am I missing one somewhere in there? And then willpower to make it a stronger dispersion. Because I think that's fun. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode of that plays Rimworld of Magic Royalty. If you enjoyed it, make sure let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more. Because it's going to come and it won't stop coming. Because that's what Rimworld do. Because that's what I like to do. Thanks again for watching this episode of RimWorld of Magic Royalty. My name is Seth, and I will see you in the next video, my dudes. See you next time.